everyone, you are in Valtopia. I'm Val Cripps. I'm a visionary artist and soul guide. I live here in uh, near Venice Beach in Los Angeles. I always look out the window because it's over there. This is um, a work in progress here behind me. Hey, Sarah. So um, we are coming on live together, the two of us. We're, we, we've been going through Ascension flu and all kinds of family business. Uh, and finally, we get to come back together. Hi, Andrea. So um, I'm going to share this and let me invite Sarah to come on while I'm sharing so that she can entertain you while I'm sharing. I'm sure she's sharing too. And we are going to do other and, and bring through whatever comes through. My hair is in a state of transition here too, Baba, so don't mind. I got a, I got a kit. We got, we got magic coming later. <laughs> Sarah, hey boo. Oh, you can see me? Yes, we can see you adjusting. <laughs> okay. 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 It was still up. It was doing it. Hi. Let me get another. I'm having to. Pro my Massimo spilled stuff on my computer and it's not working oh, anymore. Massimo, Massimo, no, no, no. Uh, yeah. All right, let me pull up the. Um, let me pull this. He just. And stare. He just did it. it. No, uh, no, he did it on, I think, yeah, Sunday. Hi, Sandra. Hi. Yeah. Welcome. Yeah, it still has come back to life. Oh, no, that is the worst. Yeah, I had a whole thing where I updated all my photos with the iCloud and everything. Uh -huh. All my pictures since September are not there. Thankfully, I usually post what I like to Facebook or Instagram, but what up? Yeah. Right, everybody, everybody take a deep breath and ground and center. We're sharing. Sarah's got her, her markers. We're lighting incense. It's on, baby. I know. It's on. Uh, right. It's on. Live and share. And you, you guys, you've been... You've been going through it with your family too. Everybody's been having this ascension flu. Right? It's yeah, we're we're pretty funky. I'm like, oh my god, everything's contaminated, and just it, I'm like, have my little wipes, like cleaning everything. Oh. Uh huh. Yeah, I I posted on my wall. Um, hi Morris. Hey Emily. I posted on my wall like. You know, I've been hearing about a lot of people have stomach upset and nausea and all these people posted that they are too and their kids and their family and, and then they know it's not the flu because of the A, B, or C. So mm -hmm. it's going on. It's going on. Okay. Here, I'm share something while I share. I'm, I'm sharing. So talk or so. Uh, so okay. I'm sharing while I'm sharing. Um, <laughs> okay. I'm going to, I'm sharing too, just in case. Okay. Um, so I hope that everybody had a great Thanksgiving, and I haven't been on for a couple weeks, because it's been, yeah, we've been just getting weird, I don't know, and then my son's been home the past couple days, so, and then today I just kind of felt like, okay, I need to get back on, I'm feeling definitely called to do that, and, um, I was like going through because people will post on in the light workers group. So I was just like going down and just like because people will post their pictures. So I was just like giving like writing little mini readings to people as I was going down. Kind of like, okay. Yes, I I, yeah, just kind of getting back into the groove a little bit. And um yeah, so I yeah, it's like I feel ready to tune into people and give that good oh last night it was so cool. Um, I was starting to cook dinner, and um, I was, like, watching someone's live, and then my phone changed. My phone changed to, I have the iHeartRadio app on my phone. And so, and all of a sudden, the song just started coming, like, playing, and it was, it was, it's called Speak Light. Um, I think it's, like, by Toby. He's, like, a Christian singer but kind of more like new agey I guess um but yeah I was just talking about like speaking light like sending your message and I'm just like oh I love this so we were like dancing in the kitchen and 
it just was good. It was like, I'm ready, like, for that breakthrough, you know, just coming out. So I'm, like, ready to connect to people and spread some love. Yes. So we're ready. Yes. Is that what Becky said, speak life by Toby Mac? Hi, Becky. Is that the oh, one yeah, that's it. That's it. Yeah. And it just, because I, I looked, I'm like, why? I'm like, how come, I'm like, how come the live video stopped? And then all of a sudden it was like this app was opening and then this song just was playing on. And so I'm like. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm like, all right, let's get back into this. Like, you know, let's go. Cool. I'll yeah. check it out. Yay. So Yay. I haven't looked at the comments. I don't, I've seen a few people. Um, I okay. don't have my question cards with me. I have um, the Uti cards and uh, the Gaia deck and the Tarot that I always use. So okay. Do, we do it the same way we've been doing it, or do we want yeah, to change sure. it up? Or what do you think? Yeah. Yeah, let's let's do it. Um, I'll start. So let me know who's sharing. Let's do it. Okay. <laughs> okay. So let me know who shared, and then I'll put your name down. I'll start a list right now. Yes, we see you. Hi, Sandra. Sorry, I'm like. Um, Andrea, please, please, please. Love you, Becky. Thanks for joining us. Yay! Hey, Sarah, Sarah, I haven't forgotten you, Sarah. I'm going to do hi. your readings of your drawings little by little. I catch up. Hi, hi. Oh, I'm a one woman show hi, over here. Hi, hi. <laughs> hi, hi. Mm. Okay, there. My son's saying hi, too. Hi, everyone. Hi, boo boo. I say everybody's just saying hi. I don't see any. Yay. Hi, Kim. Okay, I thought, you. I hi, thought Andrea shared. Yes, there's a couple people, Kendi and Lori, L-O-R-R-I. Speak life, speak life. Yeah. Why don't I pull a card for the whole group so we know where we okay. stand while okay, we're great. writing down the name. Okay, perfect. Laura and Andrea's like, let's do this, ladies. Let's go. Hey, Amanda. I know, like, what? Andrea, I'm glad you're yeah. excited. We're excited, too. We love doing this as much as you guys. I know. Okay, Papa, go sit down, my love. Like sage. Sage. I know, I know. Buy new ones. Okay, we'll go buy new ones. Oh, he's so cute. Listen okay. to him. Um, uh, oh, no, Sarah, Sarah says she's shared in the past, but it's forgotten, and she's one of my Valtopians. I'm going to do Sarah Sarah first. Sarah died okay. in the Yes. Okay, cool. Um, yes, I am on a bouncy ball. Because that's my girl. She colors my pictures in my Valtopia coloring book. Ooh. Beautiful. Ooh. And I've promised her a reading. I was going to find my book and show it to you guys. Let me grab it. I've, I've got to show it. Um, so I'll do Sarah first. Okay. She's our girl. So check it out. I have a coloring book on Amazon, and you can get it. It's $8.88, and it's an Ascension Guide. And, and I have a children's book, book too on Amazon that yes, you can you get for your children. Oh, for them awakened, yes. And it's just beautiful. It connects you with your inner child. It's just really sweet. So, <laughs> gotta put that yeah, in there. We'll put, put it. Put it. We'll put the links. Yes. Um, good Christmas presents, right? Soccer yes. Presents, awakening support for your journey. Um, yes, Amanda intends to be on Amazon. Hey, you know what? That's what Sarah said to me when I was reading her cards months ago, and then she did it. So, and I sat there months and months ago and said, I'm going to do it, and then I did it. So you can too. <laughs> yes, okay. I know. Yeah, so, you really helped me. Let's pull a card for the whole group, and then let's tuck into you. Yeah, I, I was messaging Val and like... <gasps> Oh, you published your coloring book. Like, help me, please. And then she was like boosting me up. She's like, come on, girl. You can do it. I was lucky. I had some, my ex actually helped me get it on the publishing. Grateful. Okay, so I got a nice little list going. And we can go till like maybe like 325 <laughs> or something, you know? Okay, okay, perfect. Um, that's, that's good. That's a long time. Um, so the card that I got for everybody, oh, it says Sarah's way louder than Val. Can we adjust it? I think it's because I'm in a place with a lot of echo. Um, 
I don't know what else to do. I guess I could talk it louder to <laughs> that, the microphone. That's, that's <laughs> perfect. That's perfect right there. <laughs> okay. Yes, yeah, Sarah, we'll put the links afterwards. So the card we got for everybody before we get into Sarah, Di, and Nui, if that's how I say your name and everyone else. Um, we have the Queen of Discs, which is all about sustenance and mothering. Um, and how do you support yourself? Right? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. I keep getting this card. Eat, just eating better, tuning in to, like, finally, like, I can't deny it anymore. I got to eat better. I got to mother myself. I got to let Mother Earth mother me. I got to, you know, just do all that love stuff. Connecting to home again. Yes. And the card that was on the top of the deck, I feel, is important, is the card that you got yesterday or whatever it was. It's Interpenetrating Worlds. And that's about, you know, how am I managing my star self and my cosmic mission and purpose and love and passion and um, my presence and my reality here on earth and my family and my body and rules that come with this experience in balancing between lifting myself up and knowing my eternalness and my short-term life right here as a human being right now, right? There's this huge yeah. balance that we're we are surfing right now and living in. So there's yeah. a consciousness there that comes in. Really, fo it's <laughs> like really making us focus and like on, like what can you do right here, right now? What can you do to make yourself feel better? What can you do to help other people, you know, other people feel appreciated, love? grounded you know getting outside getting fresh air but like right now you can't go in the future it's just right here you know stop worrying and clearing out that's what I'm feeling a lot of right now yeah do you feel this yeah I feel all of a sudden I just started to feel like oh my gosh like I it's like I'm getting really fluttery and I'm like feeling it in my tummy so I'm just like all of a sudden I just started like I got I started tripping I yeah. yeah, I feel it too. So Sarah says the way we pronounce her name is in a way. In a way. Okay. So let me tune in to Sarah. We're going to start with Sarah, um, our artist, our Valtopian artist. All right. Wow, I saw like this... Um, I'm like, is that throat coming in for Sarah? Because I feel, and I saw like this, it's almost like, a, it'd be like a blossom or a flower, but it was made out of wood. And it was like these slats of wood coming up. And it was almost popping open. Um, let me see what else comes through. I definitely feel that throat for you, I think, Sarah very tight like at the almost like a little stabby pinchy at the very base uh, oh, oh. and you got the hermit which is about going inward and mm -hmm. spending time um, it's always in the throat yeah I know I remembered that about you on our live streams um and of course I always draw that in with my throat chakra magic uh that I've had to push through myself I've, I've I have it too um so hermit is about going quiet and going within and um she says I am a hermit so um oops. Sarah yeah. what you got I'll pull an OT card while you're going through. Okay, so I'm feeling very nervous energy with Sarah. Um, I instantly started feeling my heart. It's like my heart feels like it's racing. Um, I'm feeling your heart is has been really going through a lot of healing. It's been opening up a lot more. Um, Clearing, okay, I'm hearing clearing, waking, make, making way for the new to come in, for the new love to come in. Um, you're really starting to learn how to receive more 
And um, your guides, your angels want you to be more open to that, receiving love, receiving kindness. Um, it's okay. It's like they're saying it's okay that you're wanting to be like in this hermit mode because you are shifting energy. It's like you're, it's like you're, you're like, it's like spring cleaning, you know, like that's what's going on in your heart right now. And so you're, it's going to, okay. So it's like, I'm hearing it's going to be opening up your throat more also. So that then, okay, so as you learn to start to receive more, then you're going to have to start creating more boundaries, saying what you really need from others, because you get kind of, okay, here we go. Okay, so it's like you get kind of, you get scared, you get afraid, like, oh, like others won't love me anymore if I say I need this from them, or if I need that, or how I want to be treated, or like, if you could just like, you know, maybe talk in a little bit of a nicer tone. And, but you coming off in a strong, grounded way. So, so they're saying it's okay. It's okay to just be grounded. Okay, they're saying focus on your drawings. Um, and allow it. Okay, they're saying that you'll be releasing this through your drawing. So just continue. It's like going to be really big this month for you is like all these new shifts. So by the end of December, it's like, you're just going to be like, Bleh. like just saying what you feel, you know, and just like, I don't care, deal with it because you're going to realize, oh, I can say what I need from others and they're still going to love me no matter what. Yeah. What, what did create beauty? Yay. Creating. That's how you're going to heal the connectedness oh yes we are one. one and like the hermit know your inner landscape yeah there's some, there's some tucking in to do some love yeah saying, it loving, just feels knowing. like it's okay like we're gonna let this um like they're kind of like squishing you out they're squishing like you're like toothpaste they're like eh, let me kind of get the you know the stuff that doesn't need to be there you know so just be cool with yourself drink a lot of water put on music and it's like kind of like you just get to kind of just chill and relax and love yourself. Yeah. Oh, she's been unearthing her studio. There you go. Yay. It's coming back to life. Yay. And I did feel some clearing. And yeah. I feel a little bit again. like on the side. Okay. There yeah, we go. Right here, it, it, right it, I just <laughs> burped. <laughs> I felt it. Thanks girl. What? <laughs> So that is, it's on the right side. It's at the base. Uh -huh. I felt it on my left side. Like, it was kind of like this. Like, it came, and then it was like, bleh. <laughs> and your left. See, it's funny for me. It's up here and going up. Ooh, so we're helping each other. We're help shifting. Like, we're just. What so if that's what, like, we get Wait, other yes, sides yes, of the yes. body or something? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. I love it. I feel like I need like a ball to sit on and bounce. You need a ball. Somebody <laughs> needs a ball. Somebody needs a ball to sit on. Okay, sorry. I, I had a because um, I was just like, fuck, like I can feel it. The Starbucks. Yeah. Oh, you can feel the caffeine, adrenaline. That's Maybe. Hilarious. All right. I, well, we okay. love you, Sarah, and I'm still gonna tune into your drawings because Sarah. Um, she says, is she loving on others too much? Well, I would think if you're feeling that, that's a good indication that. Um, yeah, because it's like your, your boundary. Exactly. It. Your boundaries are, you're needing to receive. You that's are needing to open up. And then, then at the end of this month, you're really just going to be like saying what you need from other people. Because right now you're just, it's like. You're just saying, all right, hook me up to your IV. And then they just like suck, drain you like a straw, you know, and that's not good. And then you're getting hyped up on that Starbucks because you're feeling tired. Yeah. <laughs> Sarah, tell me what's happening. I, <laughs> I love it. <laughs> cool. Okay. Um, so, that was good. And then, so who's next? I have I you, Sarah. Andrea Shield is next. Who, Andrea. Andrea Shields. Andrea. Okay. 
Hey, Carly, welcome. She says, what? what? You missed it. Yesterday, Sarah, on a, I did a live stream on Monday. Mm -hmm. And um, a, a viewer that I've talked to before said something, and then everybody misread it like she was saying something negative. And then everybody went to defend me, and there was all this crazy energy. And I was like, what's going on? And I, I tried to message her, but she didn't respond. So oh. funny. <laughs> Oh. oh, Carly's like, I didn't know you could do dual videos. Yeah, we can even invite people to come on, not more than two at a time yet, but. Uh -huh. um, okay, so, ooh, I already feel some excitement coming up in here. So, Andrea, I are you still with us? Boo, come on, baby, we're going to read you. I know, I'm feeling like it's weird, like nervous energy. Okay, she, Andrea. I know, it was like, there she is, okay. Uh-huh. Yeah, a lot of energy in the chest, like kind of like, oh, excited energy, almost building up in the throat. Um, yeah, I instantly wanted to clear it, but it kind of became like an air bubble, like it stopped. Yeah, I can feel it rising. And then I started to feel a little tiny bit of heart chakra, not much. Um, that throat wants to clear. I'm starting to see some... Uh, okay, first, when I first tuned in, I saw this sort of white puffy energy, and then I started seeing like a light blue line around, and then I started seeing all these yellow circular bubbles of energy. <laughs> I know you guys are like, and what does that mean? <laughs> I'm like, well, you're like, well, there's bubbles. Zootopia understands what it means, but uh -huh. um, it means that things are happening. There's like shifting happening right now when I can see the energy moving like that. There is some like some darkness right in the middle and then around the edges it gets lighter and lighter and as I'm saying that I feel my throat chakra getting really tight and wanting to almost burst open uh, they're showing me all this orange and red which to me and then almost going into pink which to me says we want some grounding and some root kind of connection to support whatever's feeling so unsafe up here and to be able to speak the truth um and let's see what card comes through oh yeah Ooh, yeah oh my tummy feel that too so she says her throat is feeling really thick um hey sandra hi Mar mary Liz. Marilis, I want to say marvelous. Ooh, mm -hmm. four forty-four. Yay. Right. Um. Okay, so. Okay, so I. It's like right away I was hearing like you need to quit pe being people's doormat. Like you're just letting people come. They're just like you know stomping like the muddy like snow off their boots like right all over you and you're just it's like you're just collecting everybody's like dust or something that's what I'm hearing it's like you're just it's like just kind of collecting it's like your angels want you to get more fresh air get more fresh air and they want you to start taking the initiative of going out they want you to create your own divine plan your own daily divine plan for yourself they want you like you know what I'm gonna go here like you don't have to wait around for anybody else and their schedule and what they need. They want you to start stepping up, getting fresh air, because it just, it feels very unfair right now. Very unfair. Like, you're being talked over. Like, you're being talked, like, someone is talking over you. Like, it just feels like I'm hearing manipulative. Like, it feels controlling, but, like, in a sneaky way. So, it's like, you don't, realize it and but now it's kind of like you're just feeling run down it's draining her energy which is yeah and i could feel hard. my tummy getting upset like it's all at the root solar sacral just feeling worthy like that's what you're needing yes it's like that's what it's you're just, needing. Yeah, being ruled right now mm -hmm. well andrea um i mean both of sarah and i have moved through situations where we felt um it, it, we were under something 
and we had to break through to our, our own uh, presence and knowing and um, and it's a process. It's a process. So mm -hmm. we, we recognize where you are and we're here to support you to get out the box. Mm -hmm. And, you know, and even dream thing. Yeah. yeah, even when you feel like it's like you feel like you're just like, dang, like my soul can't go on. Like my soul can't take anymore. Your soul is infinite. And it will survive and you will, it will get better and better every day, but stick up for yourself, you know, because you are like, you're possibly more important than this person that's talking down to you because they're needing to go through their shifts. And you, yeah, you need to say, like, say what your heart is. Like, because you're very smart. I'm hearing. You're very smart. You're very wise. You've experienced a lot in your life. And this other person is not, they downplay, they feel that they know better. They know more. But we all have our own lessons to teach each other, to expand and to grow and to be there for each other. And, okay, so the angels are saying, they want you to be there for yourself now. It's time to be there for yourself. Nobody else. Yeah. And, mm -hmm. and if, you, if you are having a hard time knowing you're worthy, and I know what that feels like, we, we all do. We have our moments. And um, we come with these patterns and these old life, past life stories of victim and trauma. Like we still remember the pain when we stood up and lipped off last life and they cut our head off or whatever. I know, right? oh my God. It's in us. It's in totally. Us. And so we come with to this life to solve that and to resolve it. And, um, and, and so until we move through that experience, which I know, cause I've done it, you know, cause you've, you come out the other side and you're like, wow, I can't believe I only thought that was all. I yeah, because once you start to, once you start to like do things for yourself and then it's like just like learning a new routine, a new pattern that makes you happy. That's like the starting little seeds of your self-love and your self-acceptance and then not being afraid to enjoy time alone with yourself. Or, yeah, just taking that initiative. It, it's like about it being a leader, being your own leader, you know, because. Your own life. Yes. Uh-huh. And, and don't feel scared that. Don't, I, I don't. It's hard to like. It's hard. It's like I understand. It's hard to say it when you're going through it because then you're just like, oh, it's like so much hard, you know, and. But you can do it. Well, and we get you can get triggered too. Yeah. yeah. She says, I don't feel like I'm a victim. I, I don't put that. I want to put that out there. I feel you, Andrea. And, um, <laughs> uh Oh, what you doing? I feel you. Um, so yeah, we, we, we just tune in into the energy and sometimes the energy yeah, is not, a, yeah. a story of what you're moving through right now or you've already. Yeah we're, yeah. we're not saying that you're a victim. It's just, um, not allowing just I think she wants us know. to know that she's awake. I think she wants us to know that she's awake to the issue and is moving through it. Yeah. And, and okay. We, we feel that. We feel uh -huh. that. And just yeah. giving that advice to other people that might need it. That's what I was right. feeling. Uh-huh. Inspiration. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Andrea. Welcome. It's nice to be with you today and um you know, we have, uh, I have my Valtopia Love Drops, $22 a month if you want to join. We have energy meditation and bongos and community. And um, Sarah and I do sessions together. We have beautiful three-month experience together. And, um, and Sarah does wonderful inner child galactic blow-your-mind sessions by herself. I do too. So we're here to serve you at different levels that you can um, be ready to go with. So we look forward to seeing you too, Andrea. Thank you. So who's next? Okay, so I have Annalisa Moses. Annalisa, thank you, Andrea. Still feeling that throat chakra moving around as usual. Annalisa. Um, Annalisa. 
while we're waiting for Annalisa, I just want to show some color. Ready? Ready? I'm ready. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Oh, I love that. I love this streak. You know what? It, it feels like the dark streak in it. It's like, it's almost like, you know how when, I don't know, like in the movies, you see someone being kind of scanned. It's like they're scanning out the bad energy that doesn't need to be there anymore. Like, I like that. Ooh. That's what I was feeling right away. Like, yeah, that yellow. Um, oh, Lori said you skipped me. No, no, I have Lori. I have Lori. Okay, so I have Annalisa, Kennedy, and Lori Ann. Okay. Yeah, we didn't skip you, babe. We're getting to it. Well, here we go. All right, Annalisa, thank the you. Top. This painting that I just showed is available. I'm about to update my website where you can go and, and get it, but um, 222 plus shipping. Oh, whoa. I just shipped one off today. It took me an hour to package it up. I pack them up so carefully. Um, oh, yeah. Serena says it's like the shadows are being pushed out by the colors. I love yeah. that. Hey, Jenny Ray. What's up, boo? Listen, I'll come on in the love drops afterwards, after we get off. Oh, I just cleared energy. Oh, my goodness. I can feel it, too. Yeah. Um, and, okay. okay, so Annalisa. I saw her comment. Okay, Annalisa. Alisa, come on, check. Yeah. Burrito, lenganito. Okay. Okay. Please take care, baby. Thank you. It's like everybody's like going through such heart opening. Yeah, it's like it feels like there's all this stuff settling. Like I can see yeah. these different levels of things, kind of. Right? Like, yeah. Like I, I feel some right here sharp. Uh huh. Right I feel here. straight to the heart. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. I love this. So the cards are coming through. Let me see if I get anything else in my mind's eye. I'm feeling thrilled for you too, Ali Annalisa. Big bubble. Big throw bubble. Um. Yeah, it feels like you're kind of on this like hamster wheel of experience and there's these different, it's like you're integrating into a new place, but you're not quite there yet. And so uh, I think this uh, throat chakra is about frustration, about you're not quite ready to be able to speak your truth about it. Ooh, I feel it moving. So that's good. But expanding. Um, and the cards that you've got are... Uh, you've got the, the Knight of Discs, which is the healer, okay? And then you got the Six of Wands, which is a realization. So like I was visualizing, you're kind of on this, this hamster wheel, and then there were all these different levels of you that are sort of integrating and coming together. And as you move through that, you're coming into, you know, it always uh, – it always feels so frustrating right before you get the best oh. epiphanies, realizations in a way. And that's what it feels like in this. this, 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 this. Mm -hmm. So what you got, Sarah? Okay, so. I'm just seeing, seeing what um, she said. She said, mm -hmm. yes, exactly. Um, yeah. Okay, sorry. Okay, okay, so, okay, so right now, okay, so the whole time I was hearing, it's like, like a lot it feels like a lot of shock like a lot of changes and then I'm hitting like shock of the new um you're feeling depleted um they're just like there's somebody in your life I feel like you're kind of like butting heads with somebody um it's like and it's like envy I'm hearing envy it's like they're feeling like that like a jealousy with you and um Okay, but I'm hearing, like, it's just not their time. They're not ready to make those shifts yet, and you need to trust in their journey. And that you're not letting anybody – it's like you're not leaving anybody behind. It's like they're still going on on the path that they're meant to follow. Um, 
It's like I'm hearing like further down the road. It's like you guys will like somehow meet up again. But it just feels like kind of shocking. It's like it's like this it's like this snake skin. It's like this it layers. It's like shedding from you right now. I'm feeling it in your tummy. Like your it's like your root area. Ooh, I'm hearing there's like a lot of like it's like it's like your root chakra is healing. It's like, I'm hearing it's like, um, it's like I'm hearing like sexual healing. Like it's like, um, just healing like, like your woman areas, you know, it's just like clearing out like your past live, um, trauma. So it's like you're needing, it's like kind of like the shocking feeling and you're needing to like separate and just focus on yourself healing yourself and that you're not leaving anybody behind and continue on your journey and that they're not ready yet for what you are ready for. So, okay. And let me ask Annalisa. Oh, she's been doing deep sacral trauma healing. Nice, Sarah. So Annalisa, do you feel um, embodied in this change that you're coming into that we feel and see like we see the other side almost already right uh -huh. do you feel confident Annalisa in um supporting yourself through the change with your it sounds like with your husband you're going through a big change Ooh, so, oh, do you make the leap trauma. without your yeah that's what I was feeling like some self questioning and self-doubt so that's why I wanted to ask that question see I'm I get less of the feedback and I get more all these really pointed questions. That's how my sessions are. Lots of questions. Mm -hmm. um, so you know what? The, that has to be answered by you, of course. What, you, what I feel the guidance is coming through is just what Sarah was saying and what we kind of say to each of you, but really loving and embodying yourself and standing up into your own edges and knowing, knowing, um, mm -hmm. Yeah, so embodying don't, your goddess scares your husband. Well, uh, yeah, don't let I just got the chills. Uh, like, you need to, if he wants to follow you, allow him to follow you and grow with you, but don't let him stop you. What you are so clearly ready for right now. And he, it's like, you can also lead by example and then like yeah. kind of like integrate him slowly into your awesome goddess self. Right. Um, so it's like really how you want to, you know, like, look, these things are important to me and just let me like slowly kind of be a part of it. But like, do you, you know, like, do you, and it's like with my husband and like, I, I mean, I can't just be like, bleh, like ascension and like all this crazy stuff. He'll be just like, <laughs> okay, but we, we have like nice conversations, you know, like little by little, you know, and it's like, oh, that's cool. Like, I agree with that. And maybe I don't agree with that. It's like, okay. But then like seeing changes and growing and helping each other, like even in our individual journeys, being there for each other that support system. It's about, yeah, working together. You're not against each other. So finding that little balance, but keep going forward. They don't want you stopping. Don't, don't, you know, slam the brakes on your vehicle, you know, cause no, no, yeah, no. It, it's, it won't do any good for anybody. He'll fly through the windshield and then like, he'll just, it's not good, you know, keep moving. Cancel yeah. And delete. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And you know, in my case, um, I've been through, I, I'm go, I just go through a divorce and I did go through two years of working with my husband and, um, I did see him shift and reflect back to me the love I had for myself. It was really incredible. Uh, but, and you know, on some love on the levels that I decided it, 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 you know, we decided it didn't work, but, um, I will say that when you begin to love yourself and ask for peaceful, loving outcome, I'd love mm -hmm. a peaceful, loving resolution. That's what I kept asking for. And do you know that that's what I got? Beautiful, peaceful, loving resolution. Now, it wasn't that way all the way along, but, you know, the love that you ask for and create will come as you focus on it for yourself. Mm -hmm. no and staying what. high vibe. Yeah. 
new, new roots and share the power. So wow. that message feels like, okay, exactly what you're saying. Keep forging forward and allow your partner to uh, see you loving yourself and yeah. love yourself and let him be kind to you too, boo. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> it's, yeah. It's like the goddess, it can scare other people, you know, because maybe it's like, ooh, like she's getting better than me. No, 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 no. Like, I'm getting better and I want you to be standing in your divine masculine and let's like, you know, balance, you know, like you be balanced and me be balanced and we live in harmony, you know, like working yeah. together. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Okay. And Annalisa said that she loves the message. It's Yay. time for me to make a stand in my life. I like how you said about me catching everyone dust or other could feel it's time for a change. Uh -huh. Yeah. And you know, um, when you take a stand, I'll say this, you, you might feel guilty and freaked out after you do it because that's how you've been conditioned. And that's where you come to us and in our communities to, to get bolstered back up mm -hmm. because doing anything new feels weird, right? If, it, if you haven't been doing it, um, it takes a few times to kind of get the swing of it, right? So give yourself mm -hmm. a few times to, to move into it and yeah. open it trust, up. Um, trust the message. be hard on yourself the first time. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, trust the messages that you receive, that it's all for your greatest, highest good, you know? So, like, right now, this is our message, and then in two weeks, you'll be like, okay, what's my next message? Because I'm feeling a shift, and maybe I need to kind of steer it in a little bit different direction. Things are maybe getting better. Okay, how do I handle this now, you know? And then, like, we can help you with sessions of, because it's all for your greatest, highest good, for that ultimate outcome of both you standing amazing, you know? Yes. So, um, yes. video is breaking up. Okay. Well, it, cool. It looks fine for me. I can see yeah. the video. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, boo. I'm, I'm a metal signal. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, get it, Andrea. You've got this. And that's what I love about our communities. They're so loving and, um, you know, get, and getting better for us. Exactly. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And honestly, even though I had to divorce my husband, I feel like it is better for him and for me. You know, you can't stay in a place where it's not working and you have to have the courage to clean things up and take another direction if you need to. It's better than staying exactly where you are. Mm -hmm. um, working now. <laughs> okay. um, so Annalise says, beautiful advice for where I am right now. Thank you. I've been conflicted by my high vibe and his low vibe. Perfect confirmation. I feel you on that one, Annalise. I went through that. Uh huh. So. Okay. Right. So, well. Oh, okay. I I just burped right no, now. Right here. Just like, Ow. Oh. I'm, I'm doing okay. it too. So I have Kendi. Loud. Ken Kendi. K E N D Y. Okay. Uh -huh. All right, and you have to go soon too, right? Uh huh. I do too, actually. Okay. Crack. Let's light some inside. Oh, my, low, my back just popped. It's, oh, like, no, it's like, uh -huh, it's like a lot of father energy. It's like coming up, like tightness in my back. Like that's a lot of like, I get like mother energy here when like I'm talking to my clients. I'm like, oh, like some mother stuff is coming up. Or like a father stuff, it's like it comes up from your lower back and like I'll feel it like releasing from my spine. Okay, Kendi's here. Okay, yeah, I'm feeling some, like, some parent stuff. Okay. Okay. All right, let me tune in and... Candy, 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 candy. Definitely feel the throat chakra very tight. Let me pull that down just in case it's remaining from before. I just went on this really beautiful little journey with Kendi's higher self. It was really, there's like this beautiful yellow center that just goes to bliss. Yeah. And then there's this portal around it. And it's like, like, I feel like honey and Pooh Bear. And do you know what I mean? Like, it's this little cove that we want to go into. And it was like, oh, let me see what's in there. That's what I saw when I closed my eyes. Does that resonate with what you're 
um, I, you're having a totally different like, experience. I, well, Okay, so what I heard right away was, it's like, what are you scared of? What's holding you back? Um, why are you allowing fear to stop you, to follow your dreams, to follow your heart? Um, taking those steps, like you're really needing to take, like make little baby steps because it like it will be successful like don't feel like you're gonna fail you're yeah you're not gonna fail at your wildest dreams like it's all you're gonna be like oh shit like another door oh oh my god there's another one and there's another one and like oh my god it's amazing you know it's like they, they just want you to enjoy it so they're just like why it's like okay it's like your angels are telling me they're like we're standing here with our hands on our hips we're like tapping our feet like what is taking her so long we're like so freaking ready for her to just get up start taking action and freaking go for it stop That's being scared there's nothing to be scared about yeah that's what i saw it was like this cozy portal and it's just like bliss mm -hmm. And she ah. got the fulfillment card. Oh wow! Like, yeah, so you're in, you're you're scared of failing. Okay, fear ah. of failure. I talk about this so much on my show. When you fail, a lot of times that thing that you fail, that's the thing that cracks you open to your discovery. So if you don't fail, you don't get to experience what it is you're being drawn to. Mm -hmm. So fall on your face, get some mud on your face, and go, oh. Oh, I understand this thing now. Now I'm going to go do that thing. And you wipe it off and you keep going. You're not sure what to do. Okay, if you're not sure what to do, that's when you start to tune into what do I feel in my body? How do I feel? And what do you clear, want? Ask yourself for the first clear. time, what do you want? What do you, in, in your wildest dreams, yes. What if you could be yes. anything, what do you want? What do you want to do? What is it? And then once you start kind of like piecing the little breadcrumbs together, you're going to be like, oh my God, this is what I need to do. Okay, I just, <laughs> I just burped. I'm hearing uh, writing. Yeah, I can writing is very big for you, writing. Okay. And if she, Like law? If, I don't know. Yeah, and, and sometimes when we, she has her own business help in the community, sometimes when we're not clear and we don't know what we want, we have to get clear first before we can dream and, and think of, like, what do I really want to do? And mm -hmm. so there's meditations you can listen to. There's sessions you can have, like inner child session with Sarah. You can come in the love drop and listen to this clearing meditation and clear, like, a whole bunch of stuff. And then you feel like... First of all, you get clear, and then you have this feeling of bliss and joy and clarity of your own resonance. Then you sit and go, what do I want to do without ever putting any limits on it? Because if you put limits on it, well, you're only going to get to here. So if you put no limits on it, you're going to at least get this much closer to the thing that you're dreaming of, right? Uh-huh. Yeah, it's kind of like, it, it, like, what's the first chapter that you want to create? And then just kind of slowly, like, kind of peeking around the corner, like, making those little steps. What, like, what's one little thing that you can accomplish in starting it? I don't know why I'm, like, hearing the word ledger. I don't know what that means, but I keep hearing the word ledger. Um, ledger. Yeah, I don't even know. Hmm. She says, can you speak on your higher self? Well, I think that's what I connected to your higher self. So did you, the angels and your higher self? Well, I yeah, like, yeah, girl, come on. <laughs> like, come on. Like, your higher self is, like, like, I, you are so beyond, you can do more than your wildest dreams. Like, you are stardust. Like, you are, like, fairy beautiful moon magic i'm seeing like rivers that like flow through you um so it's like start taking in this power of ooh, it's like you are a current of electricity so like the water flowing through you is this current of electricity and you need to start visualizing this and seeing your worth and that you deserve great things 
Don't let fear hold you, hold you back. Fear is stupid. It's an illusion. I, I had fear until I was like 31 or something, you know, like just a couple years ago. And then finally, when I passed that fear, I'm like, it was just me. It was me. It was my mind. Have it, right? Yeah. My mind was like, you to do this. Like, you, you're like, oh, it's too hard. You know, like, you'll never figure it out. And then when I started doing it, I'm like, this is like totally natural. It's totally like, it just flows. And then the people, the people that you need to help you along the way are like, all of a sudden you'll, they'll be like, oh, I do this. You'll be like, oh my God, that's exactly what I need right now. I need someone to help me to create a website. I need somebody, you know, whatever, just, you got this, but you don't need to fear anything. There's nothing the floor is not going to be ripped out from under you. There's no failing. Like you're going to, this is like, you're like, you're going to be very successful at this. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Kenny wants to know if you tune into any spiritual gifts. Um, but you know, let's, let's keep, if you, something pops up, but you, you, let's see, you have about 15 minutes left. Is that right? Yeah. Like 10 yeah. minutes. I want to be, because I, yeah, I have a session at 3.30, so. Yeah, so Kendi, um, join us in our community. Sarah has her own group, um, Energetic Healing with Sarah Labra. I have a group called Divine Brilliance for Visionary Leaders. Leaders mm -hmm. meaning leading your own life into beauty and illumination. And mm -hmm. then I have a low paid um, $22 a month, the Valtopia Love Drops, where you can come in and get energy clearing, activation, and. Uh, community in a smaller space and, and readings and stuff and um and then we have the session so what happens when you do these clearings with both of us is that you do start to realize what your gifts are because you start to see here and know more because you're releasing a lot of the old um, thought patterns and energy that was sort of bogging you and keeping you limited in the I so that's yeah why this i kind of clearing and work is so important to get to your gifts and get to yourself get back to yourself really Right. Uh -huh. Remember who you are, because you're already you're already there. You already have it all. Mm -hmm. There's just some blinders on and some. Yeah, and watch the replay again because just so you can listen to our message again, because you might have missed certain things. Yeah. So okay. okay. Um. So the next person is Lori Ann. Lori, it's finally your turn. Yes, Andrea, join us in the love drops. I'll put a I'll put a link for you, Valtopia.com. Mm -hmm. Book your private session with Sarah. Yeah. That's so good. All right, Lori. I'm getting all kinds of third eye going on. This is interesting. I don't normally get that. It's funny. I'm seeing, um, I must be past life energy. I'm seeing one of those Roman statues. You know how that, like David or, you know. That Greek. Oh my gosh. Lori got a whole bunch of cards. First slew of cards for the day here. All right, so this card is obviously coming through today. We got the hermit card, so that. I mean, every, about this. I've been a hermit, <laughs> like yeah. everybody, yeah. Well, we're clearing and um, introspecting and it's time, it's time to shed and, I too. and uh, um, shift. Thanks, Emily. Nice to be with you today. Yay. Um, the next card that came up for you, besides, you know, being going within and finding your own presence mm -hmm. and clearing what isn't needed and old wounds and grief and forgiving and all the beautiful things we do to love ourselves and become more resonant is the Nine of Wands, which is the community card. And so I love that you're being called into community and um, even though you're being asked, you know, you're being told you're a hermit, um, there are ways to be in community, especially with this beautiful virtual um, yeah. life that we have where you, you are healing yourself and you are quiet with yourself, but you can 
private message your friends or be in small groups or however you want to guide it. So mm -hmm. your spiritual community is really important to your hermitness. Um, the ace of discs is about body. My throat chakra is popping right now too. Um, ace of discs, body, um, being aware of your body. What do you feel in your body? How are you moving your body? How's your body supporting you? Um, to your pleasure. And I love that you got body and then pleasure mm -hmm. um, and then the control card and not controlling your emotions. So I think the message is what do you feel in your body where, what are you holding? What emotions are you holding in your body? And don't be too controlling mm -hmm. about it and allow yourself to feel what you need to feel. When, when we stop, I know I'm a Virgo and I can be uptight and I work with a lot of my clients have like really controlling energy because that's my jam since that's me. And, um, and when I've learned to let go, it's scary. But when I do, oh my gosh, it's just the epiphanies and the realizations and the inspiration and it's all on the other side of yeah. being, yeah, being more open-minded. Don't be so stuck in like your way of thinking, you know, that. There's, there could be something else that, like, ooh, I like that even better, <laughs> you know? Being more Does that resonate, Lori? Oh, she's a Scorpio. Okay. Betsy's a Virgo, too. Hey, boo. <laughs> so, so Sarah's going to tune in now, and I'm going to shut up. Okay, so what I heard was that um, you feel like you just got, like, all chewed up, and then they, like, spit you out, you know? And, like, you're just kind of, like, you're sitting there, you're like a wad of gum and like you're trying to kind of like put yourself back together. Um, but then I heard that like you are a wolf and that you are meant to lead your own pack of wolves. I'm hearing she wolves. And it feels like very, um, very, it's like a, it's like a, it's like a good witch, you know, it's like a good, I feel like it's like you'll have like this, like, like these she wolves and it's like, you guys are like kind of going together. And then it's like your group, just like, like, you know, all of a sudden these, like these wolves come in and then like your group grows and it gets bigger and bigger. Like, I'm like, seriously hearing like you guys are going to be like howling at the moon. It's like this, it's very literal. It's like it. seeing your instincts. Um, Okay, I'm hearing like creating your, yes, creating your den, um, creating your family, your your precious tribe that you keep very precious to you, um, and then it's like then you kind of go out and it's like the meeting of the other tribes of wolves and the other packs and working together, finding similarities that. Um, can be better for everyone as a collective. So it's like right now you're you're in like the little, it's like you're walking across the bridge to it. It's like you got spit out and you're kind of like molding yourself back together, like in your truth, your authentic, who your authentic self truly is. And it's like, that's what you're kind of doing. You're like putting your body parts back together and then all of a sudden it's going to be like, I'm a wolf. And like, I know what I want and I know who I am. Like, I remember, I remember. I feel like it's like, like an evil scientist. That's what I'm hearing. You're like, Whoa. you know? <laughs> <laughs> like that? <laughs> yeah. That's how I feel. And it's just like, it, yeah, it just feels like, I don't know. <laughs> it's like, I'm totally getting it like Igor, you know, like pull the switch, you know? And it's just like going off. Yes. And yeah, I'm just creating this pack and just really, and connecting with the wolf. I want you to look up the animal totem for your wolf. I want you to start bringing like all this wolf energy around you. It's like, they're like screaming wolf at you. And so, and become the wolf and the land living off the land and like knowing it, knowing all its little hiding spots and all of its beautiful lookout spots that you can enjoy, Mother Earth. So it's like, ooh, it just feels like good. Yeah. Ooh, I love it. Well, she says right on the dot. So, and bye, Sarah. Nice to be with you. So are, is that it for today? Is that what we got? Yeah. I, yeah. Yeah. Because I know it's like if we do another one, then I'll be like tripping. Because then I'll be like, ooh, 
call it scrambling. I kind of oh, yeah. get back your day. Yeah. And you know, you've been ill, so you you were great to come on today. Thank you so much, and um, we're lucky to have you. Yay! And, thank um, you for having we'll me. Be back next next Tuesday for sure, right? Yeah. And we'll try to be on time at eleven next time. Um, oh, you know what? You won't be at eleven. I have an important meeting next Tuesday, but at some we'll figure out what time. Okay. Um. And then uh, if any of you want more readings right now, my love drops, I'm going live in the love drops. You can join right now in the next five minutes and get your own reading. And uh, you guys, seriously, if you're watching the replay, and check Missy. in with Sarah or me or both of us. Or find that. the support that you need to, to come out of your box and blossom and illuminate as the beautiful, amazing, vast soul that you are right mm -hmm. you're way yeah. more than worthy yeah because we're all we're all trying to believe in ourselves we're all trying to push through our comfort zone and trying to learn and to becoming more living more consciously being more aware of our actions and just being our best so yeah just keep keep pushing forward one step at a time don't overwhelm yourself yeah yay, yay. All right. I love you, Sarah. I'll talk to hey, you offline. We'll be gossiping. Love you. Right. Thank you. <laughs> love you guys. See you next, next time. See you in the love drop soon. Bye. Okay. Bye.